We told you last night about Steward Health securing a $150 million loan to help keep its hospitals in operation. But the company also mentioned that it plans to sell non-core assets. So what does that mean for Trumbull and Sharon Regional? Matt Stone talked to some health system experts to find out. Everything is kind of up in the air. There, there are a lot of questions that you need to be answered. Madeline Ashley is a writer for Becker Healthcare and has been following Stewart's financial woes. She says their reorganization plan is a step in the right direction, but she's not sure if actual hospitals are what Stewart means by being a non-core asset. Stewart has referred to their doctors and staff as its primary asset in the past. There have been concerns over some of their hospitals, particularly in Massachusetts. Around four of their hospitals initially was, was the main concern that they might be planning to sell those off. Um, so I wouldn't rule anything off the table. A Boston attorney who works with the healthcare industry tells me a non-core asset could mean anything the company owns that doesn't really directly involve patient care. A number of organizations have had a uh, large power plant or power generation facilities. These can be sold off to a variety of energy organizations that you then buy the energy back from them, but there's a full list of money. Parking garages are another one of those medical office buildings. Other examples would include urgent care facilities, nursing homes, or lab services. Now what could count against our local hospitals, however, is the fact that they don't generate a lot of profit for Steward. A patient's employer-based insurance pays out a lot more than Medicare or Medicaid, and Trumbull and Sharon get a lot of those government payments. We'll have to wait and see what Stewart does with those facilities. With more local news, I'm Matt Stone.